Hi there, this is Fei Wu from Face World Media. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up your computer, uh, laptop, desktop, music through Spotify or iTunes to OBS. That requires you to install what's called a virtual audio mixer. So in this case, there are a number of options, including I show you, SWB, or Loopback. Loopback sounds familiar, doesn't it? Now I want to show you how it works and generally speaking the access is the same but uh, for the purpose of this example I will show you, I show you, I show you literally it's the name of the virtual audio mixer. So let's get started. Now, what you want to pay attention to is depending on the Mac OS you have, you want to decide on which app you use here. So I'm operating on a Mac and I have the latest operating system, which is Catalina. So I'm going to download from I show you by shiny white box. Sometimes people refer to this option as SWB, but it's the same thing. The reason why I'm not choosing loop back is not because I don't love it is because you have to pay a fee. So let's get started with I show you. And if you're new to this, well, good news because it's open source it's completely free. We want to do is click on this download button and um, go ahead and just download. I show you instant to your Mac OS. Once that's downloaded, uh, here are some of the steps. Go ahead and double click install the application. And by the way, it kind of uh, took quite a bit. I think uh, it was a number of minutes, it was like a few minutes. So don't uh, try to, you know, halt the process, just let it go through its thing. The most important thing once it finishes installing is there is a system extension blocked message. You have to take it seriously and make sure that you enable these extensions. So the window looks just like this. What happens is when that gets triggered, you're going to see this page on your Mac machine and make sure you click on allow. And then after that, you want to make sure to lock this preference here to prevent further changes and you are all set. Uh, the most important thing after it's been installed is that you must restart. You'll be prompted to restart your computer. You have to do it. If you don't do that, none of these changes are going to be made correctly. Now, the next step is called a multi output virtual device. So what happens is that you're going to use a utility called audio MIDI setup. So I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. If you don't know or how to find it, the easiest thing again is upper right hand corner on your Mac machine. Click on search. When you first arrive at audio MIDI setup, this is what you're looking at. You won't have this uh, multi output device because you haven't set it up yet. So you have whatever you have here, built in microphone, built in output that you want to create a multi output device. So click on this plus sign here and choose create multi output device. So from here, what you need to check is on this next screen and you just mimic and literally follow these steps exactly as they're shown. Um, so as you can see, uh, what you're going to do is built in output device and you're going to select I show you. Okay. Let me resize the window. So you see, what you choose here is built in output. I show you audio capture exactly as here, but make sure that drift correction has built in output selected and the sample rate here. You want to change that to 48. Okay. When this is done, you're good to go. Uh, now all you have to do is go into, you can just exit out of the previous window. Now you just go to sound system preference page and choose a new multi output device as your default device for sound output. So if you're not sure how to do that, there are a couple of ways to get to it. One is upper right hand corner. You have an icon that looks like a little speaker phone. You can go right ahead and select this new multi output device right here. the setup for OBS, what you need to do to be able to capture sound coming from your Spotify, your iTunes, uh, or Google play music, whatever sound that's coming from your computer. So number one, what you need to do is click on the plus sign and add something called audio input capture. So if I were to do that again, is this first option here, as you can see, that has a microphone icon. It is not the second option that looks like a speaker. Once that's selected, you have to make sure on your computer, you know, if you're on a Mac or if you're on a PC, make sure your output device is selected to 
multi-output device. Just like that, and to test it, what you want to make sure is that this audio mixer will be triggered when you play music. Let me show you. You can see that it's being triggered right here, like so. So, you know, you're all set. So once you're all set, just start streaming and you're able to, you know, display this image and whatever the audio mixer is. Lastly, in terms of how you control your music, your mic in general, you can do so. Certainly, uh, you can still adjust the volume on your computer, but most importantly, when it comes to OBS, this is where you adjust the volume. And when you see this bar full uh, in the color blue, then it's maxed out. All right, let's take a look at the results. I'm going to record my computer sound so you can see what it looks like, sounds like from Twitch. Obviously, I'm using a static image. For your case, if you're a dance or fitness instructor, obviously you'll have a video feed for that. So there you go. The music is playing very smoothly. Uh, the sound quality is very high. For those of you who are contemplating whether you need to use Twitch for teaching or not, I would say definitely give it a shot. It is fairly easy to set up. It's just the first time around using OBS can be a little tricky and a little intimidating, but don't let it intimidate you. Ask me any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. There is a lot of Twitch, uh, OBS, Streamlabs, OBS, Restream and other types of multi-streaming and simulcasting tutorials and videos coming up very soon. See you next time.